So, Andy Cannon left us last season, and he left us to go to Bradford City, and, uh, Bradford City ended up losing to us on the opening day of the Skybet League One. Tough luck, Andy. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Football Manager 2016, the next pep episode. And we are here on episode a lot. Not too sure, not gonna lie, but we are here with a brand new season, and, well, not brand new, to you guys it's brand new, but <laughs> I've gone about three games in. We are in the Skybet League 1 now with Rochdale. I've stayed with Rochdale, I like Rochdale, I think we have something to build here upon. It's not a bad club, I like the board, they like me, they, they seem to be pretty confident in me, and they let me do a bit of what I want, so happy with that. But anyway, as it is August 17th, 2021, you know there would have had to have been some transfers as we are going into a higher division, so I'm sure that's what you guys want to see here. So let's get into it. Um, the first transfer we made was Jamie Newman on a free transfer. He was released by a club, and he's a pretty decent left back. He's going to be back up. He's young. He's, he's still got a bit of potential to fill, but he's very quick, which I'm happy about. His technicals need a lot of work, but... Um, Maybe we can get him tutored and get that determination up. And then, um, to replace Andy Cannon, um, as you would have saw earlier, um, Joe Rafferty, he started his career here at Rochdale. He played most of his career here at Rochdale. He was a Liverpool trainee, and then he really started playing games when he came to Rochdale and got loaned, and then he went on a free. He only left Rochdale for one season, so good to see someone who likes the club like that. But Joe Rafferty, I, I brought him in. He's a pretty decent-looking fullback. Um, Irish, so hopefully he can do a job for us this season. And then um, on a free transfer, Lewis Marriott. Um, he's a very talented young midfielder. 14 first touch, 11 passing, 11 leadership, um, 17 teamwork, 12 work rate, pretty decent physicals, former Everton player, and I think he's going to be very good in the future. And he can play a lot of uh, center, mid ro center midfield roles, so that's pretty nice. The only thing he can't play very well is... Um, roaming playmaker, which isn't a big deal. And the next transfer we brought in was Jeff Green, a former Arsenal player. So as you can see, there's a common theme here. We're bringing in good young players on free transfers from big clubs. Um, Jeff Green, he's going to be a key player here. He didn't want to join unless he was like the top guy. He was even really skeptical about coming down to this lower level, but I think he realized this is about the level where I should be. And he's got some really decent looking physicals for a center back and 14 marking, 14 heading, 11 mark, 11 tackling, excuse me, 12 positioning. Pretty decent little signing. Hasn't done terrible, but hasn't done too great. He's been booked in both matches he started, so hopefully he'll improve with time. Another free transfer, Milos Kalas, um, a free transfer from Arsenal. This guy, I think he's probably one of the most talented youngsters we have. I don't think his potential says it that star rating, but I do think he's going to be very good, because he's already put in some really good performances. A uh, Capital One Cup performance, he got a 7.6, he was really good in that game, and then he came on as a sub in a Skybet League One game, but he's from the Czech Republic, so that does not mean anything whatsoever, but <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. He's got decent physical, except for that strength, but he's more of a playmaker kind of player. He's not a defensive-minded center mid. 13 first touch, 11 passing, 9 technique, 8 long shots, 14 leadership, 15 work rate. Um, got good decisions. Aggr he's an aggressive player, so that can be good. And, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. Now we have a loan. Now we have uh, two loan signings in a row here. Billy King on loan from Reading. He's a very decent-looking left mid and left winger. So um, he was just offered to me, and I was just like, why not? He's got some really, really good physicals. I think that's the highlight of his entire portfolio here but he's really determined he's got good teamwork good work rate as a lot of players do that have been signing and he's got decent crossing and decent long shots and he had a really good performance in the Skybet League 1 and he's he already has a man of the match award so I had to be doing something right there and now we've signed a goalkeeper on loan from Tottenham Federico Gag Gagliardi um, he's a pretty decent keeper. Jonathan Deba and him are about the same keeper. They're both pretty good. Um, Deba's a bit taller. They're both going to be rotating with each other. 
so I'm not looking to get the goalkeeper with the most clean sheets in the league. I really couldn't care less. But both of these guys are pretty good. So if someone gets injured, no problems. Pretty happy with that one. Another free transfer here, Andy Holmes on a free transfer. Uh, former Arsenal player, actually, again. A really talented young midfielder. 12 long shots, 13 first touch, 13 penalties, 12 determination, acceleration, and uh, balance are pretty good. So that's a decent physical stat to have. He's going to be rotating in and around. Um, probably Milos Kalas is probably going to be the uh, most young midfield, most appearances for a young midfielder on the team. But um, he's still a good signing, Andy Holmes. I'm happy with it. Now we got another free signing, Peter Hart. Um, He's a striker, actually, now. He can play target man and advance forward and poacher all pretty competently. He's playing an advance forward in our system. 15 finishing and 16 heading and 11 first touch and 15 composure. That's why I signed him, pretty much. He's a really promising player, and he's got some really good key stats already. Um, 14 strength and 15 jumping reach. He's going to be good at getting on to the crosses that um, are put into him. So hopefully that'll work out. And last one, last free transfer. This is the last permanent one. Um, I recognize the name, which is why I got put onto him. Um, if any of you guys watch Work the Space in his Gibraltar save um, with Gibraltar Apex a while back, back when he was n like in his first couple years of being a professional, this was one of the first. Um, this was one of the big foreign players he attracted at first. Um, Kundai Benyu. He's a really decent looking player for this level. He's playing our advanced playmaker role, 14 stamina, 12 pace, 14 first touch, 13 passing, 12 technique, 13 decisions, 15 work rate. I could go on, but I'm not going to. But yeah, sign him up on a free. I'm happy with it. And now we have two last loans from championship sides. Stuart Hunt on loan from uh, who? Derby County? Yeah, Derby County. And he is a pretty solid-looking left back. He's going to be the starting left back this year because he's got really great physicals besides balance, really good mentals, and his technicals need a little bit of work, but marking and tackling aren't too bad. And now Ross Farrell on, Farrell on loan from Brighton, 15 finishing, 13 composure, really good uh, mental stats, decent physicals, but he did get a hat trick in his first game in the Skybet League 1 because he is playing our advanced forward role. And... I'm happy with the signing. How I didn't expect him to be very good. I thought he was just going to be kind of uh, in and around, just rotating with Peter Hart for the advanced forward spot. But he's done really well. And Scott Tenzer and Andy Cannon have both found clubs very quickly. Scott Tenzer playing in the championship, I believe. Yeah, Skybet championship. And Andy Cannon playing in the team that we beat on opening day. <laughs> so let's get into this game that we have against... I think Burton Albion, who we beat in the cup, as you'll see from our fixtures here. Bradford City, we beat them 2-0 with Rodrigo Sparks and Billy King scoring. Then in the Capital One Cup first round, we met, went through with Wayne Longden and Chai Candy getting on the score sheet. And then we beat Bolton 3-2 with a Ross Farrell hat trick and a Samarin Dewey. <laughs> Not really sure how to pronounce that, but he had a brace. And now we've got Burton here. And the next, in the next game, I might do the Swansea game. Um, in the next episode, but then we won't do one for a while, cause just cause Swansea's a Premier League club, I might do it. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do uh Charlton, cause they're a decent club and it's far. Cause we do want to be advancing really quickly in this series. But let's put a team together here. Um, Jonathan Deba is gonna go in goal, and then. At right back, we're going to go with Bradley Halliday, who's going to be getting a lot more game time this year than he did last year. And then we'll go with um, Alex Hart and Cameron James at the back. Cameron James, switch him to the right side. Um, left back, we're going to go with Jamie Newman. Winger, Ed is not going to be playing today. It's going to be Jim Cassidy. Advanced playmaker, we'll go with Milos uh, Kalas. Ball winning mid, we have to go with Wayne Longden, who's been progressing really nicely. Um, really happy with him. Billy Hassler, Craig out there, and then we're going to go with Peter Hart at striker next to Rodrigo Sparks. So let's get into this match, and they're going to be playing a really weird five at the back. We are top of the league tied with Luton, so I'm really excited to see if we can get two straight promotions. That would be really incredible. 
Um, this game is a draw written all over it, but we are favorites from for betting odds from Skybet, so that's got to be something exciting. No law. So they're going with a really defensive system, but hopefully we can just work the ball around them and score some goals with Rodrigo Sparks. Um, and he's motivated. Would you look at that? Um, we need to give everyone the I have faith in you talk. <laughs> Can't go one game without that. And let's get into this game and knock off Burton Albion for the second time this season, hopefully. Venna out wide, blocked. Here it is from their corner. Um, this is right from kickoff. Williams crosses. Jim Cassidy heads it out. Newble. Rodrigo Sparks tries to close him down. Williams crosses in, but Deba is on the end of it very easily. And can we get a counterattack? No, we cannot. Williams, he seems to be doing a lot today, seeing, seeing his name too much. <laughs> Wills plays it in. Alex Hart heads it out. And here it is. Kalas, Milos Kalas, can we break? Milos Kalas plays it into Wayne Longdon, plays it over to Hart. And Lee intercepts it. Jay Spearing out. Nubel, Nubel. Don't let him get across. Don't let him cross. What are you doing? Holiday. And that is a brilliant strike, but it's off the post, thankfully. Not a great start. Here it is. Williams with a corner. Crossed. Jay Spearing hits it back to Newville. Out to Spearing. Wills. Or Willis, actually. Spearing. He's just out there. In the loft. That's got to be offside referee. But Rodrigo Sparks blocks it, so it doesn't matter. And it's going to be another corner here. Williams will cross it in. Kuchach. Alex Hart with great defensive skills there. A very he's, he's always been known as a rotation player. Hasn't gotten much of a chance in the first team, but he always does a pretty decent job. Jim Cassidy heads it out. And can we intercept it? No, but James hits it all the way up to Peter Hart. Peter Hart. Rodrigo Sparks isn't there. All right, halftime so far. And I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say I'm far from pleased because we haven't been doing much. Um, Jim Cassidy seems to lose confidence, so I'll tell him passionately. I have faith in you. And he seems motivated. Now can we get Milos Kalas motivated? Go out there and make a difference. And yes, he's motivated, so everyone's on good terms now. Let's try and get something going here in the second half and score a goal to break this deadlock. All right, here in the 70th minute, I'm just going to go attacking to try and get a goal here. Here it is, Holiday. Right from that attacking change, Newman scores. I th is he the left back? Yeah, Jamie Newman, the left back, scores from a right mid cross. Um, Jim Cassidy put in a good ball, so decent job by Newman. 1 0 Rochdale. It's been an even game. 50-50 um, possession, same shots, same on target. And crossed in. Good to beat that line. And Newman, keeper can do nothing. 1 0 Rochdale. Irwin. To Lee, to Eastman, to Spearing, out to Lee, to Williams, Jervis, no, Irwin, they do not deserve this, please don't let them. Oh, Alex Hart with a great tackle again, very happy with him. Rodrigo Sparks, he's chasing Eastman out, and Eastwood, Jesus Christ, <laughs> all this team needs to do is play in East London, Jervis, Irwin. Lee, Jervis, Williams, don't let him. Spearing, no! This is ridiculous. Jay Spearing scores. This is absurd. Didn't he used to play for Bolton? Yeah, he did. I'm not happy about it. We definitely should be on top in this game. They're just That was their first real threat of the game besides a corner. So this is where I go. Overload. And I pump the ball into the box. Go route one and I'd be more expressive because they're just literally sitting there with five at the back and they're just not breaking down very easily. Here it is. Crossed in. James Cassidy. Oh, that is in. Referee. Come on. Give it to us. This is ridiculous. We can't score here. Eastwood. Up. Newman can take it down well, but gives it right to Jay Spearing. Are you kidding me? Holiday, pass back to Jiba, Peter Hart, that was the worst touch I've ever seen in my entire life, 
Kukok. Hewitt. Kukok again. And if they score here, I am going to be livid. Lee crosses. Callis hits it up. Rodrigo Sparks. Can we break a counter here? Peter Hart to Rodrigo Sparks. Sparks plays it out wide. Irwin. But Hassler Craig. What's he going to do? Play that to Jamie Newman, please. Alex Hart plays it to absolutely no one. Once again, we're just trash today. We can't create anything. Williams, no, nothing. Here it is. Williams crosses. Holiday clears it. Spearing back to Williams. Jervis, he's offside. It's going to end the game here. We have to feel really hardly done by here. But I'm still not happy about it. We should definitely have been better. Assertively, that simply put was not good enough. Jim Cassidy losing confidence. I really don't care. He's not that good. But um, calmly, you were unlucky, but it was a good effort. There you go. And let's get Milos Kalas happy. What? How did Rodrigo spark switch off? You know, I can't have him. What are people do? You know, I'm done. I need to stop. Now we are down to third place in the league from that draw. Still can't complain. The promoted new boys doing pretty well for themselves. And that is going to end this episode here. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, please hit up the like button down below and tell me in the comments how often you want to see it. If you're really enjoying it right now, tell me you want to see more of it and I'll get it out. But anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.